Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So in this tutorial in Telegram bot series in Ubuntu, we're gonna be dealing with handling files in the Telegram bot server. So this is the message entity right here in the Telegram bot API documentation. And if we scroll down right here, we can find the uh, various types of, you know, like fields that are attached to the message uh, entity or message object. So the animation, the audio, the document, the photo, the video, the voice, and many other more, they're actually dealing with files. So whenever you send a document or you send a, an audio, for example, what you're actually doing is uploading this file to the Telegram server. In this video object, for example, you're going to have a file ID and then you're going to want to call the API of Telegram for getting the file path with this file ID. Then you use this file path in order to download the content of this file, video, document, whatever. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is actually building a generic method to fetch the files or get the content of the file so we're going to be building the document handler and it's going to be as simple as fetching the content of the file and then just storing this file on the server you can of course create sophisticated operations and processing on this file but for the sake of this tutorial we're just going to create it as simple as this so uh, let's let's just go to the document right here and you can see that we're having in this document object we have the file ID the file name the mime type the file size and other uh, attributes and we're gonna use this file ID in order to get the path of the file as we already mentioned before so without further ado let's get started so here we have our VS code right here and we have our two files server.py and message.py and remember in the last tutorial we created this message.py and this message class right here in order to handle the various requests coming from the telegram API so for now we said that we are gonna support the text the audio the document and photo types and of course we can extend this to other types for now we're going to implement the document type so we want to implement the function underscore document underscore get underscore response just like this text one that we did in the previous tutorial so what we're going to do is actually type in here diff underscore document underscore get underscore response that's going to take self as a parameter okay so what, what this function is going to do is actually get the file content, which we're going to get into uh, just in a second. And after getting this file content, what we're going to do is actually construct the response, right? So response is equal to, it's going to be just a simple text response uh, just to inform the user that we have successfully received his document. Of course, we can send other uh, responses other than the simple message, which we might get uh, into later on in, in other tutorials, but for now, we're gonna just send a text message. So text, and we're gonna type received your file. Just as simple as this, right? Okay, and then the method name is gonna be send message right and then we want to return method underscore name and response as we always do so for now we have the simple method that's gonna return a response receive your file to the user so what we're gonna do now is actually create the method for getting the file or fetching the content of the file which is gonna be a generic method that we're going to want to use with documents, with audio, with voice, with whatever uh, t 
type of request that is sending a file. So we want to define here a method. We're going to call diff. We're going to call it underscore get underscore file. And it's going to take the self object right here as a parameter. And this, this method is eventually going to be returning the content of the file. So what we want to do in this method is actually, first of all, we want to get the path of the file on the telegram server and then getting the content of this file. So we're going to be making two requests. So what we need to do first is import requests library. So import requests right here. Okay. So right now what we want to do is pass the telegram token to this message class right here. So in this constructor right here, I'm going to just uh, add a new parameter. It's called telegram token, the telegram token right here. And we just want to send this token in the instantiation of our message object right here, telegram token. And in this constructor, we we'll want to set it in self. So self dot telegram token is equal to telegram token. So right now we have the telegram token in our self object. So what we need to do first is define our API call URL. So the first uh, URL is going to be for fetching the file path. So I'm going to name this get underscore file underscore API underscore URL. So it's going to be equal to uh, let's just copy the uh, this API URL right here and just paste it here. And this is going to be self dot telegram uh, token and then slash get file. So what we need to do now is actually define the APL URL for getting the file content. So I'm going to name this in a variable called get underscore file underscore content underscore API underscore URL. Uh, let's just copy this right here, paste it here. And we have to put here a uh, slash file slash and then the bot, the token. And then let's just remove this from here plus another string, which is going to be the file underscore path. So what we need to do now is actually call the file API URL in order to get the uh, file path. So response is equal to requests the post and the URL is going to be get file API URL and params is equal to a dictionary of file underscore ID. And the value of this file underscore ID is going to be in self the values of file underscore ID. So self the values is now a dictionary, uh, a dictionary that has these uh, these attributes right here, the file ID, the file unique ID, the file name, and so on and so forth. So we're interested in the file ID, right? Okay. So what we need to do now is actually parse the result or the content of our response, which is going to be a JSON object. So what we need to do is import JSON. And right here, we're going to create a variable that's, go that's called JSON underscore response. It's going to be equal to JSON dot load s response dot content. And then we're going to check for the state of our response. So if response dot status underscore code is not equal to 200 or JSON underscore response dot get. Okay. Uh, actually not because if the, uh, if the file is found, then the, uh, the telegram API actually returns. Okay. True 
in the content otherwise it returns okay false so if we're having okay false or the status code is not equal to 200 then we're having a problem in getting the file so what we're gonna do is actually raise an exception so raise file not found file not found errors for example right okay so what we're gonna do next is actually get in the file content so now we have the file path and it's in the JSON underscore response JSON object right so what we need to do now is make a get request in order to get the file content so response is equal to requests dot get and then we're gonna give it the URL which is actually the get underscore file underscore content API URL dot format and we want to fill in this placeholder right here for the file path so file underscore path is equal to json underscore response of result of file underscore path right so this is our response right here and what we're gonna do is also check for the response status code so if response the status code is not equal to 200 then what we're gonna do is raise file not found error okay so if we reach this point right here then we actually have successfully uh, fetched the content of the file so what we need to do is just simply return the content of the file right so return response.content which is going to be by the way a binary representation for the file okay so what we need to do here in the document get response and in uh, the other types like the audio the video the voice and so on what we need to do is call this get file method so in a try catch block uh, or a try except block of course we need to call this method because it might uh, raise an exception right so try file underscore content is equal to self dot underscore get underscore file so now we're gonna have the file content so if we have the file content what we need to do is save this to our server so with open and the file name of course uh, is going to be in the value the self the value dictionary so self the value of file underscore name and then the mode is going to be wb for writing bytes as file file the right file underscore content so by running this uh, these two lines right here we are writing the file content uh, just straight into the working directory so uh, what we need to do next is actually set the response to received your file so we need just to indent this to be in the try block right here okay what if we're having an error so except file not found and what we need to do is simply just uh, change the response text so response text is going to be could not uh, maybe download your file or whatever okay so uh, I think uh, that's it let's now give it a test so what we need to do is actually open our terminal right here and then type conda activate flask to activate the flask environment and then python server.py okay let's now open our uh, telegram bot right here so let's start a conversation here we go so this is the normal text that we've seen in the previous 
tutorial. So right now let's send the bot a file. So I'm gonna send it uh, maybe this image but as a file. Okay, so we're having a typo right here. This should be self dot value not values. So let's restart our server. Okay, receive your file as you can see right here. And here we go. This is the image file that we've sent to the bot. It's downloaded to the Telegram bar, the bot directory right here. So if we send another file, maybe this one. Here we go. So we're having the file right here. Okay, so that's it guys for this tutorial. Just a quick recap of what we've been doing in this tutorial. We actually developed a generic method to get files and it's basically going to be used with different uh, types of requests. Uh, the audio, the document, the video, the photo, the voice, the animation and many other more. And we've actually demonstrated the use of this method in fetching the document uh, type of requests and it was just as simple as downloading the document and storing it on the server and of course you can do sophisticated operations as I told, as I told you before uh, in handling the files. So that's it guys for this tutorial and stay tuned for more.